Welcome to Make It Artsy. I'm Julie Faye Van Balzer, your host, and we've got elements of nature on today's show. And we begin with one of my absolute favorites, flowers. So you can see I have some flower designs here. These ones are very simple and almost abstract, and yet still you can tell that they're flowers. And this is a much more detailed kind, but both of them are actually done in the exact same way. It just depends how much doodling you want to do. So the first step is I'm working with a piece of heavy paper. It could be cardstock, water, color paper, whatever you want. You could use acrylic paint, watercolor, anything. I'm just going to smush some color around with some water soluble markers. And the question of like, how do you do this? How much color? The answer is yes. <laughs> you really just want to have fun adding color. You can overlap colors. You can not overlap colors. You can, you know, put things together. Your point is you just want to start to cover this paper with as much color as you can get on there. And again, you can concentrate it. You can repeat colors. You can do actual shapes depending on if that's how you want to do it. But I'll also point out and notice how I'm holding my marker. I'm not really holding it like you're supposed to hold a pen, right? I'm not all hunched down. Again, I have my hand way at the back and I'm just having a good time playing around here. If you want to do patterns and designs, this is actually a great way to get your kids involved in art that you make because you really can't make a mistake. No matter what you do, this is going to turn out fantastic. Because what we do after we've got all these colors around is remember I mentioned that these are water soluble. So now I'm just adding a ton of water and we're going to go ahead now and turn all of these blobs into sort of soft watercolory shapes. So I would just keep working at those pens. Again, you could use colored pencils, watercolor pencils, whatever you want until you've sort of softly blended everything together. Now I know you don't believe me, but there are flowers right here. And this is kind of like a magic eye game or a Rorschach test. You wanna look at it and think, what do I see? So the first thing that I see is right here, this looks like a big flower to me. So then I'm gonna draw my center and I'm gonna go ahead right off the edge and do all the petals that I see. Now they may not be even, this is nature after all. And there we go, I'm starting to see my flower coming into fruition just like that, okay? And I can add as much detail as I want if I wanna add tiny little centers like so or stripes up it, I can absolutely do it. And then I just look at what's the next thing that I see. Okay, well this looks like it could be some kind of flower going off in this direction, almost like a tulip or something. So I'm just gonna embrace that and sketch that in. It doesn't need to be more complicated than that. It's all the little details that you add, like lines, and you don't have to limit yourself to black. A white pen is a great thing to bring in to add some detail, or colored gel pens, or even go back to your brush pens and add a little bit of depth of color in there. You can see that this is super forgiving. And if you feel like your lines are too dark, you can always go back and add some water, maybe even with a small brush, to really bring that to soften it up. Look how soft that gets when you do it. Isn't that cool? So you can really play around and have a good time. And you can see that after you work it for a little while, you get to see all these different funny little flowers in here that you can play with and combine. Leaves are super easy to do. They're just these sort of large organic shapes that come out. They can overlap and wind around or anything like that. You can also keep working and bring in a really thick pen. Notice how these flowers are being done with a slightly bolder tip. And that's fine too. So this is really grab any supplies that you have, make a mess, look at it really hard and find the flowers in it. Because remember, nature really is all around us. 